Hi guys, I'm Shelley and welcome to my first vlog day where I take you guys to go and get a CT with me. Oh, the fun. Um, I don't know if you know anything about CT scans, but it's basically like um, a really, really in-depth x-ray and they pump a load of radiation at you and stuff like that. Um, you can't eat beforehand, which isn't a problem with me because um, the reason I'm going to get a CT is because my stomach isn't working properly and I haven't been eating anyway. So um, no food for four hours before a CT and you have to drink a lot of water. So I started the whole water cycle. So um, I think I've got to drink, I think a litre in an hour and a half before the scan. So there's that. I've um, I spent most of the night packing and repacking my bag. I panic about going out because I have to take so much stuff with me. Being a chronically ill person, it's not just as simple as walking out the door. Oh, I would love to do that. So um, I have to take a sugar testing kit with me where you test your blood because my sugar level is not very good. It's, it always keeps dropping, which also means I have to take with me a bunch of boiled sweets to try and keep my sugar level in the kind of um, healthy-ish range. Then I have a book, of course, keep my memory mission. I'm gonna take green smoke with me because it's gonna be an easy read. I did think I was gonna finish it last night, but I didn't because I didn't feel very well, so I ended up just watching telly. Um, what else have I got in here? The letter saying that I, you know, check to check me in and stuff, and then keys and um, my disabled badge because I get to park disabled because when I go out I'm in a wheelchair because I'm really weak and dizzy. Oh, and I also have um, essential sunglasses because I don't react to light very well. It's actually quite bright in here at the moment. It's starting to give me a headache, so um, I will be putting these on pretty soon. Um, yeah, you're also not allowed to, well I'm not sure about this, I've had an MRI and I know you're not allowed to wear metal inside an MRI machine, but I'm not sure about a CT. So, um, I've taken most of my piercings out, I've left uh, two in, and that one's made of plastic, but I'll probably take that out as well. I've left two in, which is my nose and um, the, the inner ear here, because I'm scared they're going to close over, or well, I know my nose closes over really fast, so I'll take them out at the last minute. Then it's not as easy as I thought to wear metal free clothing. I've had to really, really think about it. Um, I wanted to just put my jeans on, but of course, not an option. Then I wanted to put a hoodie on, also not an option because the little metal eyelets. So I've ended with yoga pants, t shirt, and um, a cardigan that's no zip or anything. And then obviously a, a sports bra instead of a normal bra. And um, I just remembered that 30 seconds ago to take my anklet off because it had a little bit of uh, metal on. Didn't think, oh, my rings are still on, but they're just kind of security blanket. I'll take them off when I get there. So yeah, my first CT, never had one before. It's gonna be, you know, an experience. It's gonna be an experience because I get to go to a posh private hospital, which is different. Um, I'm in Bristol and we've got a new shiny, bright NHS hospital. And if you know anything about the NHS and anything new, if it's new, it doesn't work yet. And uh, basically they are outsourcing uh, scans and stuff like that because they just haven't got all the equipment up and running yet. So my CT has been outsourced to a posh private hospital in Clifton, which is the kind of expensive part of town. And yeah, it'll be interesting to see if um, being in an NHS hospital is any different from being in a private hospital. Or that should be the other way around, but yeah. So um, that's going to be fun see if they treat me any differently and um yeah my dad is going to pick me up and take me and he should be here in about half an hour i think or an hour i'm not really sure what the time is but yeah i've been up all night so i'm kind of um out of it i had a lot of pain last night so um yeah my sugar level is not great i'm already quite shaky and then drinking water is going to make me quite like nauseous i think but it should hopefully go okay i'm optimistic i think so yeah i will take you guys with me and um i will see you at i don't know if i'm going to be able to uh, vlog inside the hospital i guess i asked permission or something but i'll see if i can so um i'll try and take you guys in there and then we might do something after i've been to the ct scan because i don't want this day all to be about ct but i haven't slept so i might just come home and crash out so um yeah I'll see you guys on the other side. So everyone in
CT scan. It went really well, it went okay. Um, private hospitals are a lot different from NHS hospitals. Um, it was area, there was air conditioning, gotta love the air conditioning because it was really hot today. Um, you get free like tea and coffee when you go in and uh, little biscuits. I obviously couldn't because <laughs> they said I could have them like afterwards, after the CT scan because obviously you can't eat beforehand. I'm just like, oh, I can't anyway because this is my problem at the moment is that I can't eat and drink stuff properly. Um, but my dad made the most of it and, oh, the smell of coffee was just, that is one thing I'm really missing. I haven't had coffee in like eight months and, oof, I love my coffee and yeah, but they had like a machine that did all these different things. It had like black tea, uh, white tea, hot water, hot chocolate, uh, mocha. Uh, espresso, cappuccino, and americano, <laughs> and then little packs of Emirati biscuit, Emirati, Emirati, posh biscuits. When you went in, when you were waiting in the waiting room, it was just like wow. You just help yourself. You could have as much as you want. Um, excuse me. <coughs> the nurses were really nice. Um, I had to fill in a couple of forms, but that was pretty easy. Um, it turns out I didn't need to take all my um, piercings out because it was only a CT scan of my stomach and pelvis area you only need to take out the metal around the area you're having it done so I just put my hand above my head because obviously I had rings on and um, I took my nail varnish off thinking that they might need to take my vitals because they put those things on your fingers and you can't do it with nail varnish off turns out they didn't need that either the CT scan was a matter of minutes I just kind of went into this tunnel and then came back out again I did it without uh, the resolution dye, usually they would put a resolution dye, either they get you to um, drink it in the water you've been drinking beforehand or um, they would put it in an IV in your uh, in your veins. I didn't have that because um, I have an allergy to most of the dyes and stuff and things so I did it kind of dye free and I'll get my results in about a week to two weeks I think. I've got an appointment with a gastroenterologist which is a uh, stomach specialist uh, Monday next week and hopefully the results will be in by then but yeah at the moment it's just kind of wait and see and I am exhausted I was waiting for quite a long time I think they might have had a backlog or something and that kind of took it out of me it was a lot of pain and nausea from having to drink so much water so that hasn't gone down so well but I think tomorrow I'm gonna pay for this quite a lot but hopefully it should be fine so yeah that was my vlog day. Um, I hope you guys are good and I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Hi guys, I just wanted to say a really quick, big, massive thank you to everybody who has posted and liked my last videos. I'm just kind of sat reading them now and they are blowing my mind away. I really wasn't expecting anything and you guys are just being lovely and so supportive about my new kind of vlogging health idea thing and oh, it's just, it really is just um, making my day a little bit better and yeah, it's now the day after the CT and I'm knackered, but I'm okay. It hasn't taken as much out of me as I thought it would, so I'm just kind of chilling in bed and um, I'm hoping to read a bit more of The Coldest Girl in Cold Town, if I can later. And yeah, just thank you, thank you so much. It really is wonderful to have your support and to read all your comments and they just, yeah, I wasn't expecting this, so thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye.